Hello, welcome back to Fundamental STEM. My name is Jer, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your computer into a piano using Scratch software like this. So guys, let's not hang about. Let's get into this computer and get coding. Okay, guys, first thing about this particular project is that it's going to be... Uh, how should we say it's going to be a long one, but it's going to be an easy one So so to, to stop the video from being really boring and having me going over all exactly the same steps time and time again I'm going to show you certain steps maybe once twice and then I'm going to edit finish the rest of the Steps and come back and we can continue. So if you need any um, help with this Maybe just rewind back or um, if you're really liking the project and you want extra help Throw some comments down in the in the, in the comment section there and I'll get back to you Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of the cat. We don't need him. We need to draw, you notice it's gone to stage there. We need to draw our own sprite, and it's gonna be for the keys of the piano. So hold your mouse over, choose sprite, go up to the paintbrush, and click on the paintbrush there. Then what we need is we need to draw our key. Now the key is going to be just a basic rectangle. Uh, the color is going to be white, so just pull the saturation down, and we should get white there. The outline is a bit too thick, um, two will do for that one. And then just literally come over here and draw a nice piano key, about that size there. Okay, now I'm just gonna try and line it up as best I can to center. Okay, that's about, that's about center there. And that's the, that's the piano key drawn, it's that simple. Uh, drag the key over to the far left hand side of the screen. And then this is the part that we're not to go through. We need eight keys in all. So we need to duplicate that key, like this, duplicate, and line them up roughly, and continue that process. So if you've gotten that step done, you can see here I have my eight keys and I've lined them up. I wanna give you a quick tip on something, how I managed to get them lined up so, so straight. You can see sprite one, it says the Y axis is minus 60. Sprite two, Y axis is minus 60. That's literally all I did. I would click through each of them and then I would click on here and I would change the number. So if I put in 40 there, we'll watch that sprite and see it moves. So let's put that back into the position that I wanted on, which would be minus 60. There we go, we're back in line. And I basically just followed that through all of the, all of the different sprites and they're all on minus 60. Now, we've gone to the trouble of lining up our sprites and having them all in a perfect row. We don't want them to accidentally get moved. So before we go actually making them into piano keys and adding in sounds, I want to add in a piece of code that'll stop them or reset them if they get moved. So I'm gonna enlarge this for you, okay? So when the, when the green flag is clicked, I want them to forever, forever, and then in the motions, I want them to go to the position that they're in now. So you can see this location here, it says minus 207, minus 60. That's for sprite one, but watch when I click onto sprite two. It's changed the location. That's the location of sprite two, you see? So what we need to do is, this particular step, we need to drag through every single one of them. Now, this won't take very long, so I'll actually, I won't bother editing this part, I'll actually go through it. So this particular block, when green flag clicked and forever, drag it like this, okay, and bring it into every one of the sprites. So that's this into sprite two, into sprite three, there's the wiggle, into sprite four, we're waiting for that little wiggle. There you go there, into sprite five, there we go. That was kind of hard to see, but it did wiggle. Into Sprite 6. There we go. Uh, into Sprite 7. There we go there. And finally, into Sprite 8. Okay, let's go back to Sprite 1. We're on Sprite 1. And now we can pull out the Go 2. So drag that Go 2 block there. Drop it in there. Let's go to Sprite 2. I'm just going to enlarge this. Okay. This block is already here. Pull out the go to block, which the coordinates have now changed to sprite two. Click on to sprite three. Let's enlarge that. Pull out the go to block. So we've managed to do that for every single one of them. So now we have a situation that if we accidentally pull any of the sprites out of position, they all, so I'm gonna pull all of them out of position just to test that they all pop back to where they're supposed to. If we simply just click the green flag, we're back in position, okay? 
So we've managed to keep our sprites all in order. Great, that's the first step. So now we need to go back to sprite one because what we're gonna do now is actually turn it into a piano. So I'm gonna pull the screen down a little bit here. And to actually make the piano sound, we need an event of when this sprite clicked. When this sprite clicked, okay? And then we need to go into sound and we need play sound until done, okay? Let me just see if I can pull that out of the way a little bit more. And I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. Play sound, now it says play sound pop until done. Now this is the part that we need to, 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 to change. But I'm also going to, again, before I get into changing, this is going to be needed in every sprite. So we can go through that same process again of dragging this code into every single one of them. So each one of them should now have this piece of code. But they all say the wrong thing. When this sprite is clicked, it's gonna play the sound pop. So that's the part we need to change. So in our first sprite, we're going to click on the sound tab. We're going to get rid of this pop sound. We're going to go into our sprite li or our sound library and we're going to click on notes. Then we're going to travel down to the, the, the note of C because we're actually starting on C. Now a piano uh, or pretty much every instrument, they, they have that series of eight notes and the, it begins on C and it ends on C. There's a low C and a high C. So if you notice over here we have this it says C piano and this one says C2 piano and you can hear the sound as I flick between them low C, high C, low C, high C so at the lower end of the piano we're going to have this one so if I click on this one go back to our code and change the pop into C piano okay now let's test it if I click on this spray you get the C of the piano this is probably a good time for another edit because I'll basically gonna go through all the rest of the sprites and do that same step again. Well, actually, maybe I'll do one more for you just in case you, you need a refresher. So the following one will be sprite two and you can see that the code is in there. So let me just organize this a little bit. That's a bit messy. Pull that out of the way. Head into the sound, get rid of pop, go to the library, click on notes, we're looking for D this time. C, D. Let me see, let me see. Let me see if I can see D. There's D, piano. Click on D. Go back to your code. Change from pop to D piano. And now you kind of see the process. Okay guys, so I've gone through all of my sprites and I've changed the sound in each of them. I'm just gonna run through it quickly so that you guys can see that the notes that I have match the notes that you have. So, on sprite number one, we have C piano. Sprite number two, D piano. Sprite number three, E piano. Sprite number four, F piano. Sprite number five, G piano. This is where the notes change from a G. G is the sort of the highest letter that it goes to. Sprite number six is gonna be A piano. Sprite number seven is gonna be B piano. And then this is the other C, sprite number eight, C2 piano. So we have all of our sprites in order with the right sounds in there. I'll flick back to sprite number one. Now, let's give it a test and actually see if it works. So. And there we go, we have our piano working. Now the appearance isn't very good, so we can add a bit more cosmetic stuff in. So I was thinking maybe we can add in a stage. Let's go to our backdrop. Uh, I quite like the Greek um, amphitheater that we have here, so I'm gonna pick this one here. And then the second thing that I think might look really good is to actually have some black keys. Now these are only gonna be for decoration, so click on or hover over your sprites, go to click drawing a sprite, change the color to black, so just drag the brightness all the way down there until you get that black color. The outline doesn't matter because the outline is black as well. And just draw a nice skinny little key around like like this i'll make it too big and we'll line it up let me see if i can get that centered in around there and again we're going to do the same procedure that we did with the white keys we're going to drag into position um and i'm going to add that same code in that i used for the go to uh, steps so you can see why i'm editing things in this video it's going to be a really long procedure to go through this and i don't want to waste your guy you guys's time so i'm going to go and do the second one 
uh, in here and so on and so on and there we go guys just like magic I have all my sprites lined up as you can see the black keys there again these are only for decoration and if I scroll through you can see the code is is the same that we used in the white keys I'll click through the rest of them it's the same thing but the go to positions are slightly different and so on so on and on and on okay so they're all they're all exactly the same now we have our piano let's just give it a little, little quick test okay so if you happen to know the, the, the notes for any particular songs you can google some songs maybe you're doing a bit of music on a recorder or tin whistle that kind of thing in school use the notes that you've been given on your on your sheet music and you can you can play your songs here on on the piano just follow the same notes but I'm gonna add in something extra in this one I'm gonna add in another button okay and we're gonna add this in here uh, I'm gonna have the button to be we'll make it a red button I'll click here and it's a, the black outline will do fine and we'll just do a nice little square about that size then I'm gonna add in some text change the color to black and we're gonna put in song s o n g i'm going to click off here i can drag this more to the center like about there you can make it larger if you wish um yep that'll about do and i'm going to grab this sprite and i'm going to put it up top okay so what's this sprite going to do well this sprite is actually going to when we click on this we're going to activate all our other sprites in a sequence and the sequence is going to be the notes to actually play a song so what we need to do is head into our code um, for the first sprite okay so go down to our first sprite and I'm gonna scroll this like this make a little bit of space and I'm gonna pull out an event of when I receive message okay I'm gonna change that to actually I'm gonna leave it for now when I receive message I'm gonna pull into the sound bar and pull out play sound until done now I need this in all of the eight sprites um, and we'll be changing what's written in them after we get them in there so pull that down into the second one here's the wiggle pull that down into the third one the fourth one the fifth one there we go I need to pull that bar down a bit into the sixth one seventh one and the finally the last one and then quickly we'll just go through each of them and we'll have to change when I receive message now this should say a new message in here and it should say C click OK play C piano that's correct next one should say now that's when this sprite clicked so this one here I need to I need to pull these around a little bit and make a little bit of room this one should say new message C and then should be D in this one okay and it should play D piano and then we should say new message C D and then there was E in this one and it should play E piano and there we go guys so I've got them all done and I'll go through them one by one for you in sprite one we have when I receive C play C let's look at the next one D play D when I receive E play E when I receive F play F when I receive G play G when I receive A play A when I receive B play B and when I receive C2 play C2 okay so that's in all of our keys now we need to program the song into the song sprite so when this sprite clicked that's the first part when this sprite clicked uh, where are we here when this sprite clicked there we go there now this is just going to be a very long sequence of um, we're going to have um, broadcast a message and then wait so we're going to have broadcast message and we're going to have uh, wait blocks as well okay now the there's an awful lot of them here so it's probably best to just pull out one at a time and I'll tell you how many we need we need 14 broadcast blocks and 13 weight blocks so if we just go duplicate and we put that on there and then duplicate the two 
now we have 4. If we duplicate the 4, we now have 8. And if we, I'll just pull this up a little bit. Oh, I didn't mean to click it on there. If we duplicate the 8, we now have 16. And I'm going to put that back on the bottom down here. 16. But we only needed 14. So I'm going to take off 2 and dump them. Okay? So that's the broadcast blocks I'm going to need. I'm not going to put the code into them just yet. We also need 13 weight blocks. So let's do the same kind of thing again. We're going to duplicate. Put that in there. Let's stop that. We need to duplicate again. Now I've got 4. We need to duplicate again. Now I've got 8. Let's stop that code. 8. And if I duplicate one more time, that's... 16 so I've got 16 weight blocks but I only need a 13 weight blocks so I'm gonna to go to the bottom I'm gonna take one two three pull them off and dump them now what I need to do is to put the weight blocks in between each of the broadcast blocks so I'll stick one in here stick one in here stick one in here and so on and we follow this step all the way up Okay, I'll just pull that screen up a bit. Broadcast and wait, broadcast and wait. Okay. Now I'm just thinking I actually could have made life simpler for myself had I had I done something else as well. Um, that can be clicked on here. Okay. Because each of these weight blocks is a 0 0.2, except for one of them. Um, and we'll get to that in a second because it's between one set of notes being played and a different set of notes being played so let's just go through it manually then 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.2 it's the seventh weight block actually I have on a list here I think I'm gonna skip ahead to the seventh one and just make sure that I don't make a mistake one two three four five oh, I didn't mean to pull that out um, I've lost count now one, two, three, four, five, that's five, six, and seven. So it's this one here should be 0 0.5. Okay, let's get back to what I was doing. 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Now we can add in the notes. And the notes of the song, which I'm not going to tell you, see if you can recognize it when it's done, start off with C another C then we need a G I have to pull the screen up a little bit then we need a G and another G pull the screen up a bit then we need two A's so A and A that's fine <clears throat> um, and then we need a G then we have the 0 0.5 second gap. After that we need F and another F. Okay, F and F. Then we need E and E. E and another E. E and E. Then we need two Ds. A D and another D. And then we need a C. And so I think we're ready for a test. Now let's just go through the notes just one more time. I'm just gonna make sure that, just so that you guys have the right list. Um, and I'll put this in the descriptions as well. I'll put the notes for the song in the descriptions. So it's C, C, G, G, A, A, G. And then there's that bigger weight there. And then it's F, F, E, E, D, D, C okay so that's the notes for the song and uh, some of you might already know what song this is going to be but I'm going to click on large screen here and we're going to go through our piano again I'm just going to test our keys they're still working all right so we have our keys and in the moment of truth let's play our song so I'll click on the song button guys I really hope you enjoyed that video Please remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.